Hey guys, Ryan here, and time to bring you a replay in the Ragnarok. It's going to be on steps, it's going to be a standard battle, and I'm going to be tuned with Vampiric Monarch, who is my brother. So, during the video, you'll hear me refer to him as Liam. Uh, but I don't get too many replays, my brother Liam steps when you get these spawns. Now, it's a top tier game, there's no artillery, quite important. On this map, the 9-0 line, like the 8-9-0 line, it's the most important part of the map, in my opinion. Um, and winning that side of the map is very useful and important for your team. In normal, uh, when you get the normal spawns, you want to go and like contest there. However, when you get these spawns, the enemies basically just get given the good part of the map. So what you want to do is, or what I do is, I just avoid it. I don't bother going down there because the enemies will have the good positions by the time I get there to try and contest. So what I do, I tend to come down the um, the one two line, try and spot a few people, get some shots off, wait for the battle to move a little bit, and then usually I'll fight down where that enemy um, centurion is, and then I'll run back to base if need be. Once the enemies have pushed out of the nine zero line to come towards our base, it's a bit easier to shoot at them, and you get a bit better positions on them. So. General gist of it is, go 1-2 line and wait till the enemies leave the 9-0 line. Um, or alternatively, if your team smash the rest of the map, then you can uh, push in on them when there's only a few tanks left. But that's why I don't go 9-0 line, despite the fact I do believe it's the most important part of the map. It's only ever when I get this spawn. Because um, there's no point going over there if the enemies already have the position. So... Should mention, even though I'm in a Ragnarok, my brother's in the STRV premium Swedish TD thing. Leo gets caught out in a very bad position, don't know what he was doing there. And the nice piece about this here is that my brother's in a very stealthy TD, and I can try to spot for him, that's why I'm trying to like use these bushes to spot the field. The other thing why I'm staying near here is, if I can see the light tanks, I want to try and get shots into them, because killing light tanks is very good in any map. And Steps is one of those maps where I feel like light tanks are very good on this map. Finish off the enemy tank. They didn't have too many hit points. Still got two shells left. Gonna see if there's anyone visible for me to try and empty these shells into. Granted, a Vanguard at this distance, the chance of me hitting such a person at this distance is basically zero, but I can believe. It didn't work, but you know. You gotta try those shots. Because killing a vanguard of all things is always useful. Drive forward a little bit, get spotted. And right now, it's all about looking at the map. See where the enemies are, and trying to time when I'm pushing back towards 9 0 line in our base. So try to hit the lower plate of the Tiger team. I missed the first shot, hit the second, and now I'm just gonna go for a reload. And now's the time I'm gonna go back. Why is that? Well, Liam's in a TD, a very stealthy one with a really nice gun. So what I thought is, I'm not going to push the 9-0 line, I was going to go spot um, from one of the hills near our little spawn there, and spot down towards the 9-0 line. Then as the enemies were going to push across towards our base, I would spot them, and Liam would shoot them. Um, that was the plan anyway. And as I move over here, so we have a couple teammates over here. Um, unfortunately there wasn't a bush up here like I was hoping. Uh, it would have been quite nice if there was a bush there. But unfortunately it was not the bait. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is why I'm so scared of moving up here. Is that they have multiple TDs, including a Scorpion G and an Iron Rain. And the Iron Rain is the one that scares me. Um, not knowing where he is, if he shoots me he can actually, uh, kill me in one clip. Which is, uh, not ideal. Now, what I'm doing here is, I was going to go help that guy, but I'll just start moving closer and I look at the map. I say, it's too risky for me to push out there when I don't know where the Iron Rain is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop at this position. Hit the first shot. Really bad shot by me. You saw me leading the shot and then he just stops. <laughs> and I still fire, so terrible reaction time by me. Now, back up behind this rock, and you see me looking in that general direction, out in the field, just in case see if a shell comes flying in at me, so I can try and say, I think the Iron Rain of the Scorpion G is over here. Now, what's going to happen right now, I activate food, for the, not just the extra reload, but the extra um, gun handling, 
Why is that? Because I see there's a Vanguard there, and I'm going to set up a little ambush for him. Now I have three shots to hit this Vanguard. He's a one shot. If I miss them, he's going to probably try and shit on me. So wait for him. I probably should have loaded APCR at this point just for the extra shell velocity, but oh well. Missed the first. Terrible shot. Second shot actually hits him. I'm going to keep this last shell loaded just in case that Russian medium was coming around for me as well. And I'm waiting until I'm going to be unspotted before uh, poking up to have a lock. Now, as I said, I do have full hit points, and you'd think that I mean I could, like, spot a bit more carefree. But as I said, I am an easy one-clip for that Iron Rain. Well, I say easy. Low rolls are a thing in this game quite frequently, but... Me being me with my luck, he'd probably kill me, and also, the Ragnarok is known for getting set on fire a lot, and three 128mm shells into the tank sounds like something that'll probably set me on fire. I saw where the Russian medium was, he was far away, I had time to go for a full reload, which I've done. And then I believe Liam told me that he saw shells or something, or the Iron Rain firing from the other side of the map near their base. Um. And right now all I want to do is kill this guy, but Team Act finishes off for me, and then I thought I can use these hills now, and now what I want to do is wait till I'm unspotted, before popping up over here, and now I have to try and make the move towards three TDs. I'm going to try and use bushes when I can. So, you see, I'm looking around in front of me, left and right. I'm trying to figure out the best route to move um, where I can try and keep as much concealment as possible. As well as that, I want to make sure I can just veer off to the left if my sixth sense goes off and I don't see anyone. So, constantly scanning, keeping an eye out for six cents to go off, and as I pop over here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to look at these bushes, and I'm going to approach the bush to spot, because I want to use the bushes concealment when I come up here, so I'm going to enter the bush, and you see I do actually spot the Iron Rain. Full health, empty my clip, back up, and hope the team can finish him. Now the good news is, the fact that he's a one shot now makes me feel a lot more confident. Now, as I said, there's still Scorpion G as well over here, probably on full health because I don't think he's ever been spotted. And he's just been farming our team. And I'm waiting until I'm reloaded. And again, going to try and use this little bush. Enemy gets spotted, but not by me. And now you'll see Liam is pushing in. So I'm going to go in too. And what happened at the end of this game is the Chinese TD gets spotted. Get a couple shots in, get the kill. I'm going to keep the one shell in. The Iron Rain and the Scorpion G are still alive. The Scorpion G has a lot of hit points. And I may only have one shot, but what I do have is ramming. Moving in, Liam's racing in, and we've decided that we're going to basically beat the shit out of the Scorpion G. First shot on the move, miss. Liam's going in for the shot on the ram. I'm coming in for the ram. And now this is going to be the slowest ram kill you've ever seen, as me and Liam just keep backing up and nudging into him. And I, like, literally, just slowly beating the shit out of him. And finally, get the kill, and even the father lamb was coming in to join us. So I quite enjoyed that, that was quite a bit of fun, bullying Scorpion G like that. And he had a great game, that Scorpion G, just literally farmed our team. So this game, not particularly great game result-wise, uh... I think 3,300 damage, 1,000 assists, and 6 kills, which is always nice. Um, Scorpion did the most damage on both teams for 4k, and I made almost 400k profit. And I said, it was just to kind of, wanted to refund my brother, and two, to show you kind of how I play step when you get those spawns. Which is, don't go 9-0 line, because the enemy will have the advantage, and you'll just get shit on. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.